Hey everyone, welcome on Devish Tech channel. In the last video of this series, we added this input card. And now we have to work on the individual functionality like picking an emoji or attaching a file or open a camera. But in this video, I'm going to work on this emoji part. So at the end of this video, when you click on this emoji part, then a container will come and in this container, you will get a multiple emoji. And when you click this emoji, then automatically that will appear in your text form field. So that thing we are going to achieve in this video. So please watch video till the end to get to know that how you can add an emoji picker on your Flutter app. And don't forget to subscribe this channel and also share this channel to your friend. So let's start the work. So to achieve those functionality, we have to use a pub package. I'm going to use the emoji picker pub package to get the all the emoji. So I'm just going to copy this thing, the exact name with the version and I'm going to paste this thing inside the pubspec.ml file under the dependency tab. Okay, just after the flutter underscore SVG, I'm going to paste the package. But there is another package as well. If you go on a documentation of emoji picker, you will find that there is a dependency of the share preferences. So first, what we have to do we have to add this dependency on our pubspec yaml file to use the emoji picker without this dependency you can't use the emoji picker so let me add this package as well inside the pubspec.yaml file so here i'm going to paste the share preferences also and after hitting the save the flutter pubgit will run and package will be installed on our project now let's start the work to start the work I have to go on an individual page first. Inside the individual page, what I'm going to do that I'm going to create a new method that will return widget. It will be emoji select. Method name will be emoji select. And uh, for the naming convention, we have to use the camel case. And after it, I'm going to return. What I will return? I will return the emoji picker widget okay so this is the emoji picker widget and when i selected this emoji picker widget then automatically the emoji picker package is imported on our individual page okay so don't forget to import the emoji picker package on your individual page when you use the emoji picker which is come this emoji picker package with help of this emoji picker package okay so to use this emoji picker widget, first we have to mention this emoji picker package over here and for that we need the share preferences and after that we have to use it. And in the emoji picker, we have to provide this on emoji select and that is a method. So let me just create an empty method as of now and here we have two parameters. First one is emoji, second one is category, not capital C it will be small c and let me just print the emoji as of now okay and after that inside the emoji picker we have two additional parameter first one is number of row i mean how number of a uh, row of emoji you want to add so let me set the row as of four as the whatsapp and the column as the seven now hit the save and after hitting the save what you have to do that you have to use this emoji select method on your individual page inside this scaffold so where we have to go we have to first go inside this stack which is the main widget we are returning and after the list view inside the align we are returning a row okay so in a row, we have two widgets. First one is text form field. Second one is the circle avatar. Instead of returning a row, let me return the column. The first widget of the column will be row. And just after this widget, I'm going to use the emoji select widget. And let me hit the save and see the changes what will happen. You can see that after hitting the save, the emoji picker will came here 
and it is looking like this but let me just go inside the first widget of column and use the main axis alignment to main axis alignment in and hit the save and now it is looking good but this emoji picker will come only after hitting this icon button so how we will implement that functionality for that let me just go on the top of the class and let me create a variable that will be a bool the name of the variable will be so and at the beginning it will be a false now with help of this so variable i'm going to show this emoji picker widget and how we will achieve the functionality so for that let me go here on emoji select and let me write a ternary operation like if so is true then so this emoji select widget otherwise so a entity container where we don't have anything and let me hit the save and now you can see that the emoji picker widget we can't able to see because we added this functionality so when it will be open so let me go on a emoji button where we have the empty method here we have the emoji button and we have the empty method inside the empty method i'm going to set the state of so to negation of so which mean if so is true then so will become false if so is false then so will become true now let me hit the save and after hitting the save if i will click on this thing then you can see that the emoji picker widget will come but there is a problem that when i click on this emoji button then automatically this keyboard is opening we have to fix that issue as well for that what i had to do i had to create another variable so before i will create another variable inside the text form field we have the another property called focus node with help of this focus node property we handle this all kind of click event happen on the text form field so for that how we will control we need to create another variable for the focus node so let me create another variable which is a type of the focus node only and the variable name will be focus node and at the beginning i'm just going to assign the focus node as the empty now let me assign this focus node variable to the actual property of the text form field here so let me assign the focus node here and let's control the focus node with help of this icon button so what will happen if the icon will be click at the time of we don't want to open this keyboard only we want to open this emoji part so for that we have to do a one quick thing that inside the on press method we have to just call the focus node that don't focus okay and after that we have to add one extra parameter that focus node dot cancel request focus equal to false and let me hit the save and after hitting the save let me perform the hot reload after hot restart if i will go on a dev stack tab and if i will open the emoji then you can see that the keyboard is not opening only the emoji picker is opening and uh, the emoji picker have a dependency that it will take some time to load all the emoji so that's the dependency of the emoji picker package so now you can see that the focus node is now not opening the keyboard but if i will click here then it is again opening the keyboard with the emoji picker so we have to handle this thing as well if i will click on this text form field where we have to place the text then at the time of that 
we should unsew this emoji picker widget and only open the keyboard and how we will handle it to handle it we had to assign a focus node to the event listener so how we can assign a focus node to the event listener for that we have to go on a top and here inside the top we have a additional method called init state here i am going to assign the focus node to a event listener to assign a focus node to event listener we have to call the add listener in add listener what we have to do that we have to provide a empty method or we can provide a a logic over here so what will be the logic if the focus node has focus which means here we clicked on the text form field the specific space then what you have to do that you have to set the state of so to false and let me hit the save and apart from that we also have to check that the this show is already open or not so what i'm trying to say let me just uh, give you the understanding that here if i will click here and after hitting the save we have to refresh this because init state will only run if we restart the thing and after that if i will go on a dev stack and you can see that if i will click on even emoji picker and if i will click on a text form field then the emoji picker widget will gone and the keyboard will open okay now the functionality is added but there is a problem that if i will click back then we automatically back from the the individual chat page now we have to handle this thing also if we are in a emoji picker then if i will click on a back then only this emoji picker will be pop up okay so to handle this thing what we have to do that we have to wrap this stack with to another widget that will handle the back place maybe all the thing will be confusing for you but we are making the whatsapp that's not easy to make so please watch this video very very carefully and we have another widget called will pop up scope and in will pop up scope just after the child property we have another property called on will pop up it will take a method in this method we are going to write the logic what will be the logic the logic will be if so which mean if so is true then set the state of the so to false and if so is not true then navigator dot pop context okay just after the else condition just after the if condition and return a future dot value false which is a default statement of the method it will be return a false now hit the save we are at the on will pop parameter over here and if i will click back then only the emoji picker widget will be back from the top of the stack now we can open the emoji picker if i will click on back then the emoji picker will be gone and if i will click on the text form field then the keyboard is opening but if i but if i will select any kind of emoji that will not 
reflect on here to reflect that thing what we have to do that we have to create another variable which will be a text edit controller that will control all the text edit thing so let me create another variable called text edit controller controller text edit controller so with help of this text edit controller we have to control the all the text which will be placed here and we have to assign this controller to the corresponding text form field so here we have the text form field and inside the text form field we have the controller and let me assign the controller over here now here in a controller what we have to do that after clicking the emoji if i will click on an emoji then you will know that in the emoji picker we have the on emoji select method here we are just printing the emoji instead of printing the emoji what we have to do that we have to set the state of this controller dot text to controller dot text plus the emoji we are clicking that is the object which is the emoji object but this controller dot txt is a string type that's why we have to use the emoji dot emoji that will return the uta format of the emoji which will be a string now let me hit the save and see the changes if i will click here then you can see that all the emoji are appearing here here which means the purpose of this video is completed maybe this video were confusing for you please watch the video very carefully to understand all the thing thanks everyone and see you on a next video